Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato, and sooner than I thought, Optifine is now supported in Fabric for 114 Minecraft. Guys, it just came out uh, just a couple days ago, and I did a video on how to install it in MultiMC uh, as a jar mod, essentially, but you only want to get it from Optifine.net and download it. I also have a video on the channel about a spoof site that is uh, providing malware. You might want to check that out. Leave a link in the description as well. But basically, we could get it here. It's only for 114 now, not any of the 114.1 or 114 pre-release 2, but of course that will change quickly. But now we can install it with the fabric loader for 114, which is awesome because there is a ton of great mods for it for fabric, like 12 pages, 15 pages. It's crazy how many there are and plenty of mini maps to choose from as well. So you've got voxel map that just got released. You have antique Atlas. You have a one, uh, written especially for fabric called mappy just a lot of choices guys check it out fabric is awesome and it's on fire right now all right so we're going to do it from the very beginning very easy to do and go through the whole process again only get optifine from optifine.net all right so go to the curseforge page for optifabric and i'll leave a link in the description and download it to your disk just get the newest one and uh, then we are going to install fabric just from scratch it's very easy to do so we'll go to fabric.ac.pl slash use okay and i'll leave a link in the description and there is a button here for multi mc so select that then the easiest thing to do is uh, first of all we need to select 114 from the list make sure to get the last 114 build not 114.1 Okay, and then we're going to copy the multi MC instance URL. Now we're ready to go to multi MC and we'll right click in a window and create a new instance, or you can use the add instance button up here at the top. So we want a new instance for 114, right? So I'm just going to name it. It doesn't really matter. I will name it, but then along the side here, we want to choose the import from zip tab and take that link that we copied when we click that button it copied link to our clipboard and paste it here into the field here then we'll name it you know just a 114 opti fabric let's say opti fabric okay and that'll let us know what it is so we'll say okay and it will pull down everything that's needed or it will when it launches uh for fabric loader and all that kind of stuff so you can right click and choose edit instance and you can see that it added this now optifine is going to go directly into this loader mods tab after we add the optifabric mod okay so the optifabric download is here on my disk so i basically just drag that in and we're ready to go on it and then i can also get my optifine now one thing you're going to want to do is when you download optifine from the uh installer location it comes down as an installer okay so you're going to want to run that installer so let it through your uh, windows defender or gatekeeper or whatever you need to do right click because uh, you know it's an unsigned jar and then it'll come up as an installer uh, give it just a moment to do that and then we're going to extract okay so you'll extract the jar from it uh, to get the thing that will actually run and that is going to be right here and it'll be named something similar to this i think it has underscore mod in my other video i explained that in a little bit more detail but basically we just drag that into the loader mods window and then of course you know we want to always go and check and see if there's any dependencies or anything for loading in fabric and there's not so we're in good shape we should be able to run it all right, so let's go back to multi MC and let's launch. Okay, so we should have our fabric going um, and we have Optifine as well. Okay, so of course at that time, if Optifine works correctly, you'd be able to add texture packs and all that kind of stuff. Now, again, it's much like fabric is much like a forge mod loader that you expect and that the mods just go into the mods folder. Okay, and I'll have some additional videos on the channel about how to do that and all that. Uh, and depending on what you need now, sometimes fabric api and it'll tell you here that is a dependency and that is separate from the fabric loader okay uh, so this if you wanted to install the voxel then you're going to need the uh, fabric api now again i have a video on the channel about making mod packs with a mod pack manager where it handles all those dependencies and works just fine with uh 114 fabric and all that okay so at this time we're just waiting for uh the uh, load to happen give it just a second here and we should be in good shape okay there we go very fast loads 
uh, as far as once you get beyond the initial Minecraft load, this one was a little bit slower because it's pulling down the files first. Okay, so you gotta have to pull down the sounds, the resources, all that kind of stuff. And and that and speaking of that, I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the music. And now I can just go to video settings and I can see, I'll go full screen so you can see that Optifine is indeed installed, guys. So awesome, we got dynamic lights. You know, we've got our ability to set our frame rates and stuff. Now people have been uh, more, you know, wondering about how to get V-Sync. And I think it's this setting here at the end. I, I just don't know if that's labeled incorrectly but I believe this is your V-Sync. It used to be the setting. Anyway, I'm not gonna go much into Optify and I'll do some, maybe some future videos on uh, some things we can do with that. But there you go, you've got Fabric, you've got Optify, very, very easy to install. And I'm telling you, there are some awesome Fabric mods, guys. Uh, it's a really exciting time to be running Minecraft with the new changes in 114, which are cool on their own, and then the mods that are for it. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Scott Omato. Thanks so much for watching guys and have a great day we'll see you in the next one bye bye